Hey guys, Wendy Rosenthal right here, your holistic health and life coach. And I am coming here because I was thinking about, you know, I always come out here talking to you about nutrition and holistic health, um, healthy tips. And most times I also share my own experience, my health journey, my um, awakenings, I guess, the, the things that I'm learning as I'm going through this whole process of just being here. Uh, not just as a health coach, but as a human being. And um, and I realized that a lot of the things that I talk about are a little deeper than just, here you have a recipe, cook this for dinner, you know. Um, I realized that a lot of the things that I talk about are more about, the way I see it, are more at the soulful level of seeing ourselves as a human being, as a person, as someone who has a purpose, a mission in life, and how can we really create the, the kind of life that we want so that we can pursue our dreams while we are also integrating other people around. And um, and in that journey, in that experience, I share my health uh, experience, I guess, my health journey. And because I also believe that a lot of the things that we can do or that we think um, can influence our lifestyle right now and of course for the future so the whole thing about you know why am I sharing this one of the things is because one I I feel that some of the things that I'm sharing can resonate with some of you guys not exactly that you're going through uh, through the same experience but some of the emotions and feelings could be the same and I've talked about this before uh, we all are scared about starting something new or we all are, you know, um, we get angry about a certain situation. It could be a different experience, but at the end, the feeling is the same. So I always feel that the more we start sharing these things, in a way, it can help other people. And then number two, but then also I realize that not everybody can relate. And it's okay, because at the end, we are very different. And here's what number two is coming into play, is that, because we are so different and we are so diverse, I think it's, it's a really great opportunity to open up discussion and open up, you know, bringing more people into our, um, our circle, our environment, and see how we can create a more harmonious place, you know, in, in sharing experiences, uh, open up discussions about it, and, and really embracing how different we are, yet we have similar, uh, again, emotions and, and feelings. Because at the end, that's really what's moving us towards whatever we want to go, right? However we feel, however we want to feel is what's moving us or keeping us uh, away from where we ultimately want to go or be. Now, not a lot of people realize that. Not a lot of people are clear on what their purpose or mission is. And that, that takes time. It is a journey in itself. And, and I've shared before, for instance, that my journey as a health coach started about five years ago when I was diagnosed with cancer. And with that, a lot of things changed. But then at the same time, I realized that there was something in me that was still, you know, um, not, not questioning, but I was kind of thinking, is this the right path where I want to go? I knew I wanted to help people. I knew I liked uh, nutrition or cooking or eating and food in general. And I knew I wanted to teach people, but is this the right way of doing it? And one of the things that I, and this is obviously, I'm telling you this more of what happened or how I experienced way at the beginning. Um, when I'm kind of like, even before making it public, right? Before I said, Hey guys, Wendy here, I'm a health coach, you know? Uh, so at that time I was questioning, is this the right thing? And um, am I really somebody who people can look up at, um, at and say, yeah, I know what she's saying. I know what she means. I'm going to follow her. I'm going to listen to her. That's tough because a lot of us grew up thinking, of rejection, thinking that people are not going to like us, people are going to criticize us, and especially when you are sharing your story, especially when you're opening up and, and really showing yourself as how vulnerable you are. And we don't want that, right? We don't want to be vulnerable. We don't want to show ourselves as being weak because people associate it being vulnerable with weakness, which is not really true, but that's a perception. That's a perception of what people think versus what you really think and believe and really feel inside, deep inside of how or who you are. So 
with all, with all of this, I was thinking, yes, I want to help all these people. I want to help myself, nutrition and all that. But I want to go deeper beyond that. I want to talk more about eating kale and zucchini and uh, cooking with healthy fats. You know, I want to go past and beyond having supplements every day and seeing how my body can transform if I really take care of it by eating healthy foods. And at the end of the day, guys, and I think this applies for any discipline, any kind of job, there's a lot of work that we have to do up here. There's a lot of mind work that we have to do, which really is about the way we think about ourselves, how we are um, identifying ourselves as, uh, ourselves as, and also how it is that we are in community, you know? Like, we have to realize that we're here, one, we are not alone, and two, if even if you look at yourself, at your body, at your your health, it's not just a one. It's not just one area that we have to consider in taking care of. There are so many things. So if we think about health, we have to think about relationships, how that influences our health. We have to think, of course, about food, how foods are helping us or not in getting healthy or getting sick, um, getting strong. Also, career, like is how is that affecting how well you feel about your career and your your involvement in the workplace? Is that affecting your your health or not? Um, and then also spirituality. Do you believe or you have beliefs that are you know supporting you and walking along with you, whether it is uh, a religious belief, wh- whether it is philosophical beliefs? Um, being in community, you know, and so there's all these different aspects that play a very important role in our health. But I also, I strongly believe that the way of our, how our mind works and the way we're thinking has a much stronger role in this whole process. Because really, whatever is up here is make us, you know, have cravings or is make, will make us go and exercise even if we don't want to. Or it will make us get out more and socialize. And really will make us feel whatever we're feeling about ourselves or not. So so that's where I I was. And for the longest time, I was thinking, okay, I'm a health coach. I'm going to help people. But how can I help them even better? How can I help myself also so that I can help them even more? Again, more than just give you, here's the recipe. Go cook this with kale and zucchini and a lot of garlic and ginger because ginger is anti inflammatory. <laughs> See, I'm forgetting. <laughs> nah. So so the thing is that that's when I'm thinking, and again, here's another thing. I also, I'm not in this alone. As Even as a health coach or life coach, I also have a coach. I do go to someone and talk about these things in a way asking for uh, help, reassurance, opening up discussion. Because in any, any situation in our lives, we cannot do something on our own. We not that we need help all the time, but we need a support. We need somebody who can be there and make us see see things um, in a way that maybe we might be missing. And I feel that we always need somebody to help us there. So so you do have a coach, a mentor, and we were talking about this and then he said Wendy, I get it. You are a health coach. You are all of this, but you're more than that. You are a trans- transformational coach. And I'm like, wow, like that's kind of powerful, intense. Although I could feel it, but for me to say it, it was kind of like uh, scary, right? Because I was like, hey guys, I'm this other thing too. But at the end of the day, it's not just, I think it's, that's just a name, but I feel it's what it is that we're bringing out to us. So In my case, yes, like I feel like I'm more of a transformational coach because I'm helping myself and I'm helping you or anyone out there not just transform our health to become better and healthier and all that, but also to help us kind of see life a little differently and what else can we do from whatever we have around us, whether it is in the present or the past, and how how can we integrate that and make it better for our future. So that's where I am, guys, and that's what I wanted to share, really. Um, Yeah, I'm a transformational coach. I am a transformational coach, and I like talking about all these deep, soulful uh, topics that I think are important. And here's the thing, too, is not necessarily for those people who are in, you know, the woo-woo environment or, or who are, like, you don't have to exactly follow 
uh, or, you know, like listen to every single thing that I will say or somebody else like me will say. But I think it's also important to, I always say, to open up and hear other people who, like who else is out there? Because again, we are not in this alone. Whatever you think your purpose is, whatever you're here to do, you're not just doing it on your own. There's other people like you who are doing or working towards the same goal. And also there's other people who are not like you, who will be around in your environment. Yeah, you need to know how to live together, right? So anyway, so that's what I wanted to share. So if you think that any, if any of this resonates with you, let me know, you can hit reply. Um, if you're getting this through an email or just send me a message or go to my website, we can talk about this because probably you'll be seeing more of me, obviously talking about these things. Again, it's just a soulful way of me seeing how we are here as a person, how we can best take care of ourselves and our health, um, our relationships with other people. And at the end, just being ourselves and being happy and that's it. <laughs> So anyway, so I'll stop right here and I'll be seeing you guys again soon. So come and um, connect with me, whether it's through Facebook, uh, you can go to my page, Wendy Rosenthal, just look me up on Facebook and or you can also go to my website, wendyrosenthal.com. So I'll be seeing you guys again soon, okay? Bye.